Hey, what's up guys? Tookie here, back again, and as you can tell by the title there in the top left-hand corner, or by the title of my video, it's time to break down the newest gameplay trailer for NHL 18. Now, previously I had done this a little bit differently, I'm trying a different recording style here, of just watching the trailer live, if something catches my eye, we'll scroll it back, we'll roll it back, and we'll talk about it. So fuck it, we're doing it live. That That's what's happening here. So let's go. Let's take a look at this trailer. Let's do this. Let's hit the old play button rather than the K button. And first thing, first thing, hold on here, hold on here. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? Let's just slow this some bitch down a little bit, huh? Let's slow it down just a little bit. Don't know why it's rolling in 720p, but that's okay. What the hell happened there, actually, even as we scroll that back? Can some... <laughs> can somebody explain to me, is that puck floating? Let's see, okay, he lifts it, and then... Uh, okay, yeah, okay, hold on, let's... No, one more time, one more time. Okay, so that's obviously Pasternak, so that's a good thing. Although, of course, they don't have the new jerseys in there. With the, uh, the new Adidas stuff, because otherwise they'd be black socks. Not sure how I feel about that. Although I'll tell you how I feel about that, because you, you right now can go watch the video where I talk about all the new jerseys. It's like two minutes long, and it's awful, but it happened. Anyway, so he like pulls off to the side, pulls back, he lifts it, but then the stick, it just, it, it glitches out. But we, we know what's happening there, it's fine. It's a different type of deke where he elevates the puck, that's fine. But it is a little bit embarrassing that when you slow it down, it glitches out. Let's see, we got a nice hit there. Poor, poor Ghost Bear gets a brand new contract and then gets the shit knocked out of him. Poor guy. Austin Matthews with one of the new one-handed deeks. And we'll actually scroll that back. Are people going to get annoyed at me scrolling it back? Probably. But we've seen one-handed deeks in the game before. This one's obviously different, though, as opposed to the one-handed deke that was in the game before where it's essentially the Peter Forsberg move of pulling it back in and sweeping it into the net. That's pretty sick. Now that's going to be difficult to stop, and I will already plug another video that's going up alongside this one where I talk about the feature list and the new defensive skill stick. I'm not going to talk about it too much, although I will say right here, this play specifically, Ristolainen should get a tripping call. I mean, maybe he could, tech Matthews could technically lift his left leg over the... Uh, over the stick there. We're two seconds into this trailer. <laughs> and this video is probably like four minutes long already. Welcome to my channel, if you haven't been here before. Anyway, it's an interesting skill move. It will take a good amount of skill defensively to be able to stop that. The hope is, with the defensive skill stick, that it's properly tuned so that you can actually counter something like that. But an interesting skill move. We have another one here. I don't know if that's Eichel... Or, man, we're not even going to get to see, but that's fine. Let's, let's scroll that back really quick. Is there anything of note with this? Or just that he fake-shotted, and then I imagine that's just kind of a really far drag back in a shot. Didn't look like he was going through the legs. Game of tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the .5 speed doesn't really kick in. EA Sports. It's in the game. Boy, this .5 speed, man. Come on now. <laughs> Because the second I tune up the speed, it'd be, uh, be a little bit rough. But we got Austin Matthews. We got Connor McDavid. Looking serious. And Patrick Line. And words. Flashing words on the screen. I mean, they are smart, though, to be advertising. Hey, here's all the young talent. They are smart to be doing that. Leo Komarov. All right. Well, let's see. If I scroll forward, am I going to miss anything? That's the question. That's the question. <laughs> Almost missed that right hand. Backlund just got this fucking tooth knocked out. That was sweet. All right. Fighting. How do people feel about fighting anymore? Is it right to call a right hook sweet? Or is that just a dick move now? Might just be a dick move. As we see line A do the celebration that's in NHL 17 and in NHL 18. Because EA Sports is in the game. Did you have to show a Leaf celebrating against a Bruin? Did you have to? Did you really have to? Words all over the screen, jumping from side to side. <laughs> Boy, you know what? I hope this is enjoyable to watch. If it isn't, well, you know, shit happens. Now watch as the 
the glow slowly goes from left to right. All right, there we go. We got Marner skating. Look through his legs as he... <laughs> now that is true AI in this game as they both just stand there and like, oh shit, we were supposed to defend that guy. Is this NHL 18 or NHL 17? That's awfully familiar. <laughs> Let's see though. What do we got here? Oh, it is Mark Stahl in fairness as we have the old one-handed move again, which, you know, different than what it used to be, but still not too shabby. Poor Hank. We do get the same glitchy move from Pasta. I mean, it looks nice. Hopefully it looks a little bit better once it's actually in game. I just wanted to make sure that's Vasilevsky. I'm pretty sure it is. I'd laugh if it was Ben Bishop. You never know, man. People made a big deal out of changing stick tape. We might be able to find that there's a player who doesn't play for a certain team anymore that appears in this trailer. We're under 40 seconds through this trailer. It's incredible. Here we go, the next clip. Carl Alsner, you're going to get crossed over, aren't you? Between the legs, pass. Now, I, I did see that you could shoot between the legs. I didn't notice that in the trailer, that you could go between the legs, pass. That is sick again, as long as the new defensive skill stick works properly and you have a way to counteract that, I'm cool. I'm fine with all of these fancy deeks. What do we have here? We have another one that, to be honest, I flat out missed, so let's scroll that back really quick. I'm turning a minute and a half trailer into a 10 minute long marathon, but that's okay. So basically, the same move, just at the center ice O level, which is fine. Looks good. You have Hoseng, and damn. You know what? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't recognize this clip, but you do have Flurry doing the same bat. Oh, it was Flurry or Murray. That was Murray. You do have him doing the same bat the puck out of the air animation which i saw between the pipes on twitter just oh he loves that that animation is still in i mean when it works it's great when you bat the puck into your own goal nine times out of ten it's not but that is an interesting move as opposed to the normal toe drag just essentially a chip shot that is pretty sweet i mean it looks funny I want to look at this again, just because, you know, I mean, the, the move is nice, but the animation, the execution, looks a bit weird as you watch it leave his tape. It's just, yeah, it just looks funny. <laughs> it looks funny, but that that's going to be a very popular move. That might be like the new version of the dump, of the dump, yeah, of the jump deke, where you just try to flat out embarrass a goalie. That's probably going to be the new one. Built for speed. The need for speed. What do we have? Nathan McKinnon. Well, if you want to show a fast player, he's the guy to show. Why do we got to keep showing Ghost Bear get, get, getting shit on? Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade. What did Ghost Bear do to you, EA? What did he do? Poor bastard. I, I don't even like Philly. The only time I liked Philly was when Eric Lindros was a flyer. And you're just going to keep showing Ghost Bear getting the hell knocked out of him. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. We got another guy with his mouth guard. Boy, people. Man, the outrage from that first reveal trailer <laughs> with Marner in the mouth guard. Oh, that was nuts. But another look at the same deke. We got Line A pulling back, taking a shot. That's about it. I was trying to see if that was like the whole left bumper precision skating, which I wonder if that's going to be more prominent this year. When you can get it to work, it's nice. I remember them hyping that up as a big-time feature, and you really don't see it too often. Hell, some of you might not even know what I'm talking about when I mention that. That's how infrequent you see it. But again, line A with his celebration, which is fine. Boy, you know, I was hoping for a little bit more out of this trailer, to be honest. I mean, I'm still, you know, you'll see my excitement with certain things if you go watch the video where I talk about the feature list. But when you put this into slow motion... You really haven't seen all that much yet, but we still have a bit of a way to go. Provorov showing off that new defensive skill stick. I like it, saying that you could target poke checks. I do like it. They cut it off before it sh Here's the thing, though, right? You can clearly see him. That's him using the new defensive skill stick, which is fine. It's great to have that level of control. But they cut it right here before you can see it work, and they transition to a completely different play, showing him, you know, you know, collide on the hit there. So that that's a bit concerning. 
Of course, the defensive skill stick needs to work properly to counteract all of these new attacking options. And I do wonder, too, with hitting, because, boy, hitting an NHL 17, not even close to the best the, fra- <laughs> to, to the, uh, to the best that hitting has been in the franchise. Wish I didn't stumble over my words, but I uh, spit on my monitor, <laughs> apparently, and that distracted me. Anyway, back on topic here. Aaron Eckblad, we're going to see more of the defensive skill stick as that it actually works on that occasion so that's good Leon Dreisaitl what do you got for us you got a sauce pass up the boards now that's not new (laughs) now they are saying that the AI will start doing that on their own which we'll see (laughs) I'll talk I talk about the AI in the feature list video but we'll see but a sauce pass is nothing new a kick to the tape is nothing new if anything That's uh, quite frequent in NHL 18. My God, especially, too, if you've ever played or used Trevor Linden in uh, NHL 17, is what I meant. Yeah, the kick to the tape animation is pretty pretty frequent. Anyway, interesting. We'll see another new deke here, I do imagine. And there you go, the shoot between the legs. That's going to be the real new prevalent move to try and embarrass goalies. That and the little chip over the shoulder. I mean, both look great, and it'd be really fun to pull off. But can you properly stop them? And then we get the look at NHL 3s, which I wish I could say I go into detail about. Basically, what I say in the featureless video is the same thing I'm saying in this video. I'm excited for it. Do Do I know how much I'll play it? No. That remains to be seen. With the beta, you do have... NHL 3s is an option. So I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, it's more arcade style. You see it says Money Puck on the boards, which, I mean, you can set it so that it's, you know, typical periods or first to 10 goals or whatever, and a Money Puck would count as three goals instead of one, stuff like that. But it's interesting. I am at least intrigued, and obviously, you know, more of an arcade style. Hitting is going to be tuned. The rink is smaller. It's going to be a fun game mode, a less stressful game mode. And I, I, admittingly, I do like the aesthetics, the visual look to it. You know, the bright colors of the arena, the weird, you know, patterns on the ice and stuff like that. I do think it looks pretty sick. And actually, here, let me scroll that back. I want to see this goal again. And that is the same toe drag shot that we've seen a couple of times. There was that one particular move. I think it was that Sabre. Might have been Eichel earlier on in the trailer that we saw, you know, starting to do that move. We didn't see him actually get to bury it. But, again, I'm intrigued. And this is our first real look. Now, to be honest, I'm excited. I've mentioned on Twitter, which, again, if you're not following me, at Tuki24 on Twitter, I mentioned on Twitter that I expected this trailer to be the intro video, essentially, for the game. Like, if you look at NHL 17, the intro trailer is typically what we get around this time. I mean, this could technically be the intro trailer. Maybe not. It doesn't seem to have that exact style. This is more than what I was expecting. And I'll get into, you know, a few more details because we did learn quite a bit more as uh, from the feature list, among other things. And I talk about that, like I said, in a separate video. But September 15th. For me, it's cautious optimism, but it's optimism nonetheless. September 15th, cannot get here soon enough. September 12th, if you pre-order and get that early access, we have the beta coming next month. Again, overall, I'm impressed with the trailer. There's a couple of interesting moments, I feel like, but cautious optimism, that is the word. Guys, let me know, as I tried to fight off that burp, it didn't happen, and I'm not cutting that out because professionalism... Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this trailer, what you think of the other information if you don't or haven't seen, if you you don't know or haven't seen much of the other information. Again, I will plug that other video that I should have up talking about the feature list. But again, let me know what you thought of this trailer. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Could be everything about it in both regards. (laughs) I hope you did enjoy this different style of video as well. I had a little bit of fun with it. Not too uh, happy with myself about not being able to fight off that uh, that burp. That's that's weakness. I need more self-control. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, of course, make sure to hit that like button to make sure you don't miss a video, you know, for my normal stuff or as I continue to cover NHL 18 news up until launch day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the notification squad. And again, follow me on Twitter. Make sure that you never miss a video. I'll see you guys next time.